Hello, it's Phil Marshall here in Yorkshire once again. As you may recall, I'm the Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees of the charity that runs our children's home in Watamu. Today is Tuesday the 24th of September and Papa Dave and Auntie Rose will be sending another email out to all of our sponsors and regular donors to provide our new bank account details today. So that should come to you, should be in your inbox. If you can't see it later today, then please have a look in your spam or junk folder in case it's gone in there. So the new bank account has been set up. That's great news. And you'll be getting that email from Papa Dave and Auntie Rose uh, later today. So we're asking you to please, please set up your sponsorship payments, your donations once again, your standing orders, your payment arrangements, your vo uh, voluntary donations through your employer, whichever method you were using previously, please, please set those arrangements up again. If you were using just giving, perhaps you can just give us a few days because we have to link our new bank account to the just giving page. But any other method of payment you are using is now fine to recommence. Now, we're very conscious that uh, there are criminals out there who scam people, getting them to send money out of their bank accounts. And it's really important that everybody is very careful. Um, so in terms of the email and the bank details that you will receive today, there are four things that you can check. Firstly, the bank account name is in the name of our charity. It's not in the name of the children's home. So it's in the name of the charity. Secondly, you get a bank sort code. You can type any bank sort code into an internet search engine. So you just put sort code and the six digits and it will tell you which bank that sort code belongs to. Our new bank account is for CAF Bank, C-A-F, that's Charities Aid Foundation, CAF Bank. So if you type in the sort code, it has to show you CAF Bank, nothing else. And then in terms of the account number, well, that's important as well, obviously, that the account number is the correct one. Now, our account number, all account numbers in the UK have got those eight digits. Our account number ends with 423. So that is 423. So those are the three bits of the bank account uh, details that you can check. Also, if you read the email carefully, you will see that we've included in the email the names of our twin girls who started school recently. So read the email carefully and you will see in that email the name of the two girls, our twin girls who recently started school. Hopefully those four things will help you to feel assured that the email and the bank details you can see in that email are genuine. If, however, you have any concerns, get in touch with whoever your contact is at the children's home, at the charity. So that might be Evans. It might be Auntie Libby, Elizabeth Gom. It might be Auntie Rose or it might be Papa Dave. Whoever you would contact, get in touch with them if you need any reassurance before you set up the bank uh, transfers, the uh, sponsorship payments, the donations from your bank. Now, as I mentioned before, when we were asking you to cancel uh, the standing orders, you can use all of the usual things to set up a new standing order, a new payment arrangement. So if you use a banking app on your mobile phone, you can set up new standing orders in that banking app. You'll go to a bit that will either say payments, it might say move money or transfer, something of that sort, and you will be able to set up a new standing order using the information that Papa Dave and Auntie Rose are providing on the email. Similarly, if you use online banking, you log into your online bank account and you will be able to uh, set up a standing order in the online banking setup. You shouldn't need to actually contact the bank to do it on either the banking app or the online banking. If you use telephone banking, then phone the normal telephone banking number and you'll be able to set up a new standing order that way. I mentioned before that we know some people use schemes provided by their employers. So these might be salary sacrifice schemes, voluntary giving schemes. 
If that's you, then again, please contact your HR or payroll uh, department and they will set up the arrangement for you. Provide the bank details that we've put in our email and your employer will do the rest. We want to say a big thank you to everybody for your patience and for your uh, support. Uh, it's been a difficult uh, time for us and it's obviously been an inconvenient time for you as well. Thank you again. We look forward to your continuing support. Please do reset the sponsorship arrangements and the donation arrangements. Without your help, we can't continue. We can't uh, continue to support our children to make sure that their well-being is good, that their education is good without your wonderful support. So please do set things up again to get those payments into our new bank account. Thank you. And we'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.